My name is David Ben Shabbat. I'm the managing director of this research institute, the Dead Sea Research Institute. And we are very glad to host you today. Actually, the initiative is the Tel Aviv University's initiative. And uh, this institute is also uh, connected uh, with the Tel Aviv University. We are actually located here in an open laboratory of nature that uh, actually asking for uh, applied research in all fields of life, you know, naturally, geology, dermatology, the Dead Sea, uh, the sediments of the open, uh, uh, <clears throat> open ground that you can uh, uh, explore easily. Uh, ancient lives. Uh, this is one leg of the Institute, <clears throat> natural science and life science. The Tel Aviv University uh, established here the, the uh, Institute for Research of Life Under Extreme Conditions, which is um, a separate theme in research uh, that uh, we found <clears throat> attracts interest of bodies like NASA, uh, like uh, IBM, they're, they're all connected to uh, activity held in this institute. Also, the other leg <coughs> is, uh, I mentioned before, applied research of uh, the Arava R&D Center. Uh, we have a very cutting edge laboratory, chemical biolog biological laboratory that uh, <coughs> deals with uh, microbiome, body, human uh, microbiome, and uh, uh, bacteria microbiome and skin microbiome. Another leg, interesting, and uh, personally I find uh, a lot of relevance to the, to the location of the Dead Sea, and maybe to your theme, mathematics, is uh, language. We had uh, this conference just a few months ago. The Dead Sea <coughs> dwellers of the second century BC which are known as, uh, I wonder why the air condition is. <laughs> it will take a few minutes. <laughs> the Dead Sea dwellers of the second century BCE, um, I believe you heard about the Dead Sea Scrolls, this greatest findings of the 20th century in archeology, span in uh, history which is relevant to Judaism, Christianity, maybe Islam. So actually the Dead Sea, these dwellers of the Dead Sea, <coughs> the human layer is interesting because of uh, a significant contribution to the history of thoughts, the history of ideas, the contribution in uh, um, the cooperative community, the formal, the first formal known cooperative community, talking about mathematical communities, uh, which you can simply witness um, evidence from the Dead Sea Scrolls talking about uh, uh, an equal um, society life, <coughs> about uh, absorbing newcomers, about handling property, personal property, the second very important uh, contribution is the language theology. Language theology, which was actually kind of revolution to the central worship that uh, was uh, held in the second temple for some around 800, 1,000 years. And here in the Dead Sea came the revolution that actually privatize the holiness to the language. Used uh, empir empirically the language as a vehicle to alter uh, a hierarchical uh, regime. And uh, you can see it in the, the scroll of uh, the Yachad. They call themselves the Yachad, the together. The brotherhood of the Yachad commune. Uh, this area is very interesting. Uh, to explore human layers, to explore nature. 
And mathematics is uh, quite a, a crucial language to enter this uh, uh, field of phenomena. Um, I stop here and I'll show you a four minutes or five minutes uh, clip of allegory why placing here underneath Masada a research, research institute and then we'll start your nice conference. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. 
Wonderful, wonderful love 